Hey guys, welcome back to Texas Business Radio. I'm your host, Matt Register, here as always with Jay Curry. Jay, talk to me. Well, we're unknown to many people sometimes is the fact that all these big things that, that are built have to have engineering behind it or they don't work. That's right. And that's what this segment's about. It's a really fine engineering firm uh, with a great track record and good stories. Well, and, and we like to bring you guys CEOs and, and companies and the stories of these companies that uh, that you might not be familiar with and you need to be. Uh, we have a studio full of folks today. We're going to jump right back into it. Go ahead and get your calls in. 844-814-8144 is our 24-hour call in line. Call in now. Call in later. Call in 3 o'clock in the morning. Doesn't matter to us. Get your calls in. Get your questions. And we'll get the experts in here to make sure you get those questions answered. Don Knuckles is the president, founder of Image Custom Engineering Solutions. Don, welcome to the show, sir. Thank you, sir. Tell me a little bit about your company, about what you do, and who you do it to. <laughs> well, we serve uh, the oil and gas uh industry mostly uh-huh. um, typically our customers would be local fabricators and or end users owner operators um, and what I like to tell people kind of in my elevator speech is when you drive down the road and you look out there in the cow pasture and you see a well pad and all that equipment around it we design most of those pieces of equipment and we design the the layout of those sites and then the piping and everything like that uh, somebody's got a plan for that it yeah, just there's, there's a that lot more day. than just you go drop yeah. th- drop some equipment exactly. in the field right yeah well, well and, some and people practically do that. <laughs> Laughably, uh, there's there's some that that uh, it's pretty haphazard, but you know um, that's a dangerous game. Um, it is. Well, and it's it's certainly not a long term plan, right? right. You guys uh, can take required inputs, required outputs, and and figure out how you know how strong the material needs to be, what kind of equipment needs to go in it, mm-hmm. and can can find them a solution to uh, to to get to the to get to their desired outcome, right? Right. And uh, just like anything, you know, if you're going to build a house, you you need some two-by-fours, you need some doors, you need, to, you know, things. But we help you figure out what all things you need to get. Um, in many cases, when you look out there in that cow pasture, there's different skidded modules, and then there's a lot of piping that's run between them and things like that. So uh, the, some of those modules are designed specific for that site. Some of them are purchased from fabricators. Well, some of those fabricators may have paid us to design it. In fact, we've had many cases where we uh, are designing a site layout and and we're using a piece of equipment that we had designed for another company over here, <laughs> yeah. you know, and it's now included in the site. So we serve both of those types of customers. So this isn't something that just anybody can do, though. You're all professional engineers. And yes, we are you, registered. This, is, this stuff's got to be to spec, and you kind of figure that out and, mm-hmm. and yep. put it together. Yeah, we work with the client to understand their goals and requirements, and then we help them produce the drawings and all the calculations and back up to where they can safely construct this and know that it's, you know, people don't like stuff blowing up much. Um, no, that, that, that's frowned upon sometimes, <laughs> it is. Right? right? But you guys do more than just a wool field work, right? Basically anything yeah. that has piping included, so municipalities, uh, all, all kinds of things, right? Uh, any customers we can find, uh, you know, that is what we're interested in. Uh, we've done some <laughs> biodiesel plants, you know, which kind of trails into energy. But, mm-hmm. you know, certainly anything with pipes and skids and structural, I mean, we've done uh, design of you know one-offs even like you know little staircases and things that are not even really part of oil and gas so that's not what we typically chase in the market but sure. you know we're sort of omnivores if you will yeah i got it phone rings you'll take it and right. uh, uh not some you're going to spend effort and energy to go 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 collect uh talk to me a little bit we were, we were talking during a break mm-hmm. and one of the things i find fascinating about your industry is you guys kind of have a leading indicator into the market uh mm-hmm. you know before major projects can uh can be released to be manufactured uh they got to be engineered mm-hmm. right so when you guys start seeing projects letting loose mm-hmm. is an indicator that that you know everybody in texas is interested in you know what the oil field market is going to be doing over mm-hmm. the next couple of years give me some uh some insight from your vantage point on what you think may be uh may be coming well I, I think we i think we've hit the bottom i think that we are starting to see indicators chatter's definitely up our inquiry level is has been up since the first of the year and even later in the year last year so i see indicators that things are, are going to start to climb back I don't think it's going to be fast. I don't think 17 is going to compare 
to to 14. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's probably going to be some time. I it may be a long time before we see those kinds of peaks again. Sure. That was a bubble, though. I mean, it really was. Um, it's amazing. That it was such a big bubble, and that so few saw it. But that was the case. Um, so I think we're seeing some improvement, but it's going to be slow. No, uh, fair enough. And you guys have have survived the downturn very well, right? Well, uh, it, uh, or survived anyway, yeah. right? It, it, Surviving it, uh, is, yeah, survived, is, is nice. Uh, <laughs> yes, it's been tough. There's there's absolutely no question about that. But we're hanging in there. We're um, we're trying to position ourselves to where we can, instead of just survive, start to thrive again. Uh, when did you start the company? How long has this been going on? Uh, well, I started it. I actually left my old company in March of 2004. Uh -huh. So we're coming up on 13 years. And uh, so, yeah, we've been around for a while. One of the things I find interesting about your company uh, is the fact that you guys have kind of melded into a technology company as well, right? There, well, there has been a need. You saw a need mm -hmm. for uh, document management and and a interface with your clients mm -hmm. with uh, the engineering work. So you built it. Right. Tell me a little bit about that process. Well, what you know, it was it was a struggle to communicate with clients. You know, shuffling documents back and forth, and we needed a better way to do that. And we've started developing some technology, and we've got many technologies that help us. You know, that the customers don't really see. They kind of work. Right. You know, behind the curtain, mm -hmm. if you will, to help improve our efficiency, increase our quality. Tracking changes and all that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that sort of thing. So we, we've built a lot of things that help us. But the, the thing that our customers see the most is how we communicate and how we, how we deliver our designs to them, how they interface and how they immerse themselves in the design to help them better understand what we're doing and help them with speed to market and that sort of thing. Cause it's, it's very critical. Well, so you built a software. Not only is this something that you have as a value add for your clients, but it's also something you could sell to other members of the industry. I find Correct. it fascinating how many different industries, their their industry standard software came not from the technology sector, but from their own sector, right? Nobody knows better than somebody in that sector what the needs are Absolutely. Uh, of that. What are your plans for that? Are you, your plans to release it to the, the rest of the, the yes. engineering community? Yeah, actually, we've got um, a subsidiary company um, called Edge Solid Solutions that's part of Image, mm -hmm. and it owns the IP that we use. And as of 2015, we started taking um, our tools and get, started putting them on the market. And so, you know, it's terrible timing in many ways, but, um, you know, now we've started to get some traction and we're hoping that that's going to start turning around. One of the things that's coming up is the market is back in 2008 when there was downturn, we actually picked up faster than most people because they've laid off uh, people. They've now they start getting projects and they got to decide, do I add more staff or not? That's so they exactly call right. Us. Yeah. Here's the other thing. Technology is the other thing that you can do besides more that's staff. Right. Yeah. So building. The interesting thing is. You did it to solve your own need, your own problem, and it worked really well. And mm -hmm. so now you're migrating out. I, yeah. That's an interesting story within itself. No, uh, absolutely. Uh, Don Knuckles, who is the president and founder of Image Custom Engineering Solutions. What's the easiest way to get in touch with you should somebody want to? Uh, www.image-ces.com or give me a call at 281-829-4101. Got it. Image-ces.com. As always, guys, no reason to take notes. We're going to have links to everybody we're talking to right there on TexasBusinessRadio.com. Don, thank you for joining us. Thank you for yeah. letting me enjoy yeah, it. Absolutely. Congratulations. It's a great business and a great story. Thank you. Yep. And uh, guys, go ahead. Get your calls in. Get your uh, 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 questions in. See the entire thing in beautiful high definition video right there at TexasBusinessRadio.com. We got to go to a break. We're going to be back in just a minute. We got a studio full of folks. You're going to enjoy it. We're going to have a great time. We'll be back right after this.